Thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Today is the 16th of September. Uh, this is a video about my dear friend Ida Camburn, our dear friend. She was a friend to many, many people. And um, she passed away on September 1st of 2010. And I'm going to put some links regarding Ida. One is Ida speaking. And the other one is about uh, the Lighthouse letter, which I love, she loved. It was, it's a wonderful letter. Whoever made it, I don't know who did. One of the anonymous people or a bunch of them, but it is a fabulous, true honor to Ida. It's really great. But anyway, she was a cool lady. For any of you who didn't know her, she, 30 years ago, her son joined the Church of Scientology she looked into it, and way before anybody was around exposing them, Ida was writing letters to congressmen, senators, meeting with people. She helped with the original Cult Awareness Network, which is now owned by the Church of Scientology. So if you call CAN, the Cult Awareness Network, thinking you're going to get information about a cult, you're actually talking to one of the worst cults per the academics who study cults. But I lived through all of that. She tried to expose them, expose the abuses, try to help her son wake up. Of course, he never did. And uh, he's on dialysis, I believe, five days a week. So, you, you know, you have to think, I mean, what kind of person, Scientology saying auditing works, auditing will fix you. But you're on dialysis five days a week to, his son, to her son, Ronnie. And you know what? Your mother is a wonderful person. I dearly love her. And one of the things I used to always tell me is, what would my life have been like if Ronnie hadn't joined Scientology? I've met so many wonderful people. She loved all the people she met. She loved the critics. She adored Anonymous, that they'd come out. She was just so... I mean, you can imagine, because she, she was back, I don't know if you guys, I'm sure a lot of you, but some of you don't know about Jonestown, you know, where they had the massive deaths, but um, Congressman Leo J. Ryan went there and was killed there, but she was in touch with uh, that congressman before he left and showed me letters from him and stuff like that, because she was trying to get him to look at also Scientology as abusive. And, you know, she's been on it. She's been on it for a long time. I, she lived out in Hemet, right near the Gold Land Base. And we used to go picketed gold, go back to Ida's. And I was there one time when the sheriff showed up, came up to her porch, and she came out there. She's a little itty-bitty tiny person, too. And she's, get off my porch. I mean, she she had balls. She really did. And I'm sure wherever she is, she's got wings, it's, you know, with thousands of people welcoming her and wings as far as you can see. And I'm sure she's like, I don't need those. You know what I mean? Ida was the person, ah, no, it's not me. I don't, don't talk to me about it. Uh, you know, it's not me. But it, it, it was her. I mean, she did a lot of great things. She probably saved personally, you know, more people than we can count. You know, and helped families, helped individuals. She was a wonderful person. And I will always thank her. I met her at, actually in Clearwater. Um, I escaped out in 2000. And we had a picket. And they had put out this injunction that all 15 of us, if we did any of these three things, we would be arrested. And I said to all of them, you better follow it to the letter. I know Scientology, they mean business, right? So you know I was following it. At least I thought I did. Who would have known they had 100 cameras in a four-block area, which is what it turned out to be, they, the security guard admitted. But I and I, one of the things they had was, it was Christmas time, so they had their door, giant bushes in front of the door, and in front of that was an empty red sandwich chair. So we walked up, and I said, you want a picture in the sandwich chair? And, I mean, it looked like a public chair, you know, so I took a picture of her. Nothing happened. She said, do you want a picture in it? I said, sure. So I went, got the, did I, I think I showed you guys the picture of me in the empty rent side of the chair, but it's funny. And, you know, here I am, and you can see the tall bushes behind it, and it's just sitting out in the street. And I sit down, she takes a picture, I get up, lights, camera, action, video, police, you know, people. I mean, it was just like, what is going on? I had no idea. It was a setup. They were setting me up. And uh, sure enough, I came back here to Burbank, California, and 
some young girl knocked on my door and says, Tori. And I said, uh huh. And she said, You've been served. And I said, That's pathetic. And I had never been served before. And we had to go to court. And it was me and 15 other people. And I said to Bob Minton, This is about you and me. You because of the money you have. Me because of the things I know about Scientology or top secret stuff. And sure enough, I said, all the rest of these people are basically window dressing. They're going to just flick them off. And that's exactly what happened. They spent two entire days out of nine days on Tory Pizzazian and trying to, you know, like pick me apart. And I said to my attorney, and I say this to Anon Sparrow and anybody else that's in legal trouble, follow, stay on top of it yourself. And I would say the same thing. Stay on top of it because these guys are weasels. They really are. And I... They were trying to pin a criminal conviction on me, which would have lasted for the rest of my life. And you can't just get it negated kind of thing. But I said to my attorney, I could see he wasn't really taking it seriously because he was mainly working with Bob, right? And I said, get me all the videos. I want to look at them. I want to look at everything. And I personally found the UPS truck that drove through the driveway where some lady, of course, the Scientologist, had pulled up to ask me, why are you picketing? And I stopped for a second to tell her, and they said, she's blocking the driveway, that's proof. But I found a UPS truck that drove by proving I did not. And even into the courtroom, I had to hand my attorney a thing saying, UPS truck. And he finally brought it up. We showed the video. That was it. And thus, I got off of this criminal conviction. Scientology, you morons. You are like, you. I told you when you were in, you are creating your own enemies. And you continue to do that to this day. And I did definitely said the same. So please, I thank you all who made comments to her. I'm sorry I had to delete my last video, but YouTube was like, I had to delete the Phil Spector videos and this one. And so I didn't have any choice. Otherwise, they were going to delete my entire site. So there you go. And this is to Ida. And thank you all for all your nice comments. You don't have to comment again. I just wanted to make a video about her to her and I am going to put the links on there so for anyone who missed it so that you can see Ida and her talking and and the lighthouse letter and I love you all have a wonderful weekend I know that would be the favorite thing I would like you to do peace out have a great weekend and take care of yourself and be safe